New School, Milano, Podcast, Housing, Energy Efficiency, Sustainability, Solar Decathlon. The Decathlon is a fascinating project. It's, uh, it's an international competition sponsored by the U.S. Department of Energy. And the goal is to encourage colleges and universities to design and build an energy efficient house. And the house would be reliant completely on solar power. So here at the New School, uh, there's a partnership in place between the uh, Parsons School of Design, which brings together students in architecture and uh, other aspects of design, with another partner, the Stevens Institute of Technology, where students study engineering. So they are jointly looking at how to create a house from a systems perspective that would be highly energy efficient, would be what's called net zero. It would use no more energy uh, than it actually generates itself. And in fact, part of the, the, the goal is to generate even more than you would use. Milano's role in that is uh, an interesting one, and I think it's fairly unique because we are adding uh, another layer. I think that uh, traditionally it's really been dominated by the engineering side um, and by the architecture as well. And the new school's approach was to really look at it, what would a real like sustainable lifestyle look like? So beyond the house um, to the to the things that the people interact with, maybe even going as far as policy implications, really take a holistic look at sustainable living. And so I guess when the leadership decided they wanted to do that, they figured they'd need to get people involved outside of the architecture and engineering department. Um, and they brought all of us together. What we bring to it is uh, something that reflects the three programs here at Moana, organizational change management, nonprofit management, and urban policy. What I mean by that is that there are process issues, group process issues, working with the community is a big part of what we intend to do. We're not just going to design and build the house, we're working with the community in Washington, D.C. to understand from members of that community how people live. Uh, you know, what's the reality? What kind of uh, appliances do they use, which of course consume energy? Uh, what sort of clothing do people wear? Can our fashion designers help design clothing that's more uh, sustainable uh, in respect to the fabrics used and the way they're uh, laundered and, and so forth? Well, I'm really looking forward in the short term to seeing the actual house as it begins to uh, materialize, so to speak. But I think that the biggest hope I have, and probably others share this, is that this, won't, this will be only the first of this series of houses uh, that will have some very uh, distinctive qualities that address the pressing issues of energy efficiency, but do so in a way that are really is informed by community involvement. There, there are, again, there are lots of models, not only in this area, but in, in, in many uh, areas of, of human life that uh, seem very promising until you put them on the ground. And the reality is that when people aren't consulted in how they're going to use something, it doesn't work so well. And so I, I think our goal here, and certainly my hope, is that we'll learn enough from this process to come up with something that will really work in the long term and make a difference in terms of our energy crisis. Today's podcast was produced by B-E-E-J-E-L-L-Y-F-I-S-H. The Jellyfish. You heard voices from J O H N C L I N T O N. John Clinton. J O H N S T I N A R. John Steiner. Thanks for listening to this podcast.
For more information about Milano, the new school for management and urban policy, visit www.milano.newschool.edu.